I'm a real outdoor person. This is the first house I've lived in where when I'm inside, I'm not itching to get outside because I have a view of the outside wherever I am in the house and I can see it and I can hear it. Jeff is an architect and I am a project manager. You would imagine we are either the dream team or a builder's complete nightmare. We did consider having a main contractor, but it was clear we wouldn't be able to have the level of involvement that we were after. So. There's no doubt that when you do it yourself, it takes longer. But that did enable us to get some of the detailing right. We wanted to minimise our footprint on, on the planet and we couldn't really contemplate building a house that wasn't consistent with that. We have tried to minimise demand for energy. So we generate a lot of energy ourselves. We have a solar array on the roof. This building is extraordinarily insulated. So we don't lose a lot of the heat that's generated within the house. Even though the days are shorter, we still have a light-filled house. The corridor has these incredible long skylights, so the light in that space is probably the best in the house. We've got, you know, the window at the end of the corridor where all the greenery is outside. You get this incredible mottled light coming in. The garden itself um, changes constantly. You're always appreciative of what season you're in during the year. On the eastern side of the garden, it's more established. It's where Neela has her vegetable garden. To the west, we're returning it to woodland. You know, it's more wild. It's incredibly rewarding building your own home. It's fun, and it, but it's hard work. Some people who've come to this process realised it's not a typical house and have really wanted to be part of it. Really, you've risen to the challenge of doing something slightly different as well. And that's been really rewarding for us because almost without exception, those people have become really good friends. People think when you build your own home, you're going to get exactly what you want everything. Well of course therein lies the rub. You can't afford everything that you want. Some of the compromises we've made have come out of that process but it actually makes the, the house better and richer for it. That's a good thing because it makes you question what was important in the first place. The outcome really has been though it's a labour of love from both of us.